morning everyone. I want to talk about rest this morning. In our reading, we're going to be going to Hebrews. Rest. Hebrews 3, 16. For who having heard, rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt, led by Moses? Now with whom was he angry forty years? Was it not with those who sinned, whose corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they would not enter his wrath? But to those who did not obey. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of unrest. A lot of unrest out in the community. In, in the world today. A lot of unrest. And Jesus offers us rest. Come unto me ye who labour and are heavily laden. I will give you rest. So you can rest assured Jesus is telling the truth. Even yesterday uh, afternoon in, in, in Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, an African chappy uh, went berserk down in Burke Street, Melbourne, set his car on fire. I'm pretty sure it was his own vehicle, and jumped out and started stabbing people. Apparently, he was yelling Allah Akbar. That man had no rest. That man was tormented, wasn't he? No rest. And you know, there is no rest unless we do what Jesus said. There's no rest for anyone. Not for me, or you, or anyone else. It might be temporary, a temporary break, but there's no real rest. In Hebrews 4, verse 9, it says, There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from him. So there we have it. So, um, we have to cease from our way of doing things and we have to cease from our demic thinking. We have to basically give our lives over to Jesus in order to have that rest. Amen. And when, when we uh, do what the Lord says and we obey the Lord, we... Um, we have more than rest, I can tell you. Um, and it's not for a moment or a day. It's not for, as they say in the religious circles, a Sabbath, the Sabbath is Saturday. On the Jewish calendar, but not on God's calendar. The Lord dealt with all that, with, with, with Sabbath and feasts. And our rest is in Jesus. Our rest is following hard behind him. Yeah. Our rest is in the Lord. Our rest is in him, our precious Saviour and friend. Then we have an ongoing, non-stop, beautiful rest. Every day. That tranquility and joy of his word. And um, the days, the seasons, the months and everything they just fade away and we have that beautiful rest in Jesus like it was in the beginning in Genesis when Adam and Eve walked in the cool of the day with God that kind of rest yeah. so there may be turmoil all around there may be some crazy man going off his brain somewhere and 
but it's okay, we have peace and rest within. We know that we're in God's hand, the angels are with us. And like the time my wife and I, I was driving my wife to work and this other car came up beside us and uh, went berserk. As they turned the corner, the woman lost control, smashed into a lamp pole. We burst out and then drove over the medium strip and then we burst out over that again. This is all in a matter of seconds. In this big V8 vehicle, she had lost control totally. I think she was drugged out. But we had peace, and this car was going all around us. We had stopped, just short of the the uh, centre of the intersection, and this car was going berserk. It never touched us, but we had peace. <laughs> the angels were with us, and and the Lord was with us. So, rest. Have rest today. Have rest today. Each time I look up like that, it's just, I'm checking my um, minute, minutes I have on my clock. We only have so long on these clips. Only, only per minute so long. So, um, have rest today. Obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. So it says here, so we see, Hebrews 3.19, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Unbelief will stop you from entering into the rest, the peace, the joy, the blessing, and eventually salvation and the kingdom of heaven. Unbelief is a great uh, uh, insult to the Lord's right. Who are humans to not believe? Who are humans to doubt the Lord? God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man or a woman reaps, uh, so they will reap. So remember that. If you want rest, you've got to take faith. You've got to trust in the Lord. Obeying Father and having faith in the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. You have a good day. Don't forget to read the scriptures and the ones that I brought forth today. Hebrews 4, 9 to 10. Hebrews 3, 16 to 19. Don't be religious. Be righteous.